Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Um, my name is Tina. I'm on the WW Blue Plan. I get 23 points a day, and today I want to share with you what I eat. I just woke up. You could probably hear it in my voice. I'm off to a super late start. I wanted to be up literally like four hours ago. Um, I don't know. It's just like a super gloomy day today. Um, it kind of just stopped raining, but it was raining since last night and I was so comfortable. I set my alarm. I woke up, but then I fell back asleep. I fell into a dream and here I am, um, which is annoying because it's Monday and I have a lot to do today. So I'm just going to kind of have to change everything up. Um, I kind of had my day planned out already of every step of what I was doing, but I'm going to have to switch it around. Originally, I wanted to work out right away, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Hopefully, I'll still do it, but I'll do it later on, like probably like tonight, like before dinner or so. So I'm just going to go downstairs now and make some coffee because I really need it. And the coffee is going to be amazing because we got an espresso. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. The coffee's been coming out so good. I love it. Um, I'm going to try and only have one coffee today and then after lunch I'll have a tea instead. I'm going to try and drink less coffee, more tea. Since green tea is good for you, I'm going to go for that. If you have any tea suggestions, let me know. And that's about it. So, I shall show you my little coffee montage now um, and get to work. I don't know what else I'll show you, but yeah. Oh my god, I just realized Bobby has a, Bobby has an eyeglass appointment today at 4 o'clock, which makes my day even shorter. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Alright, bye. See you at lunch or something. I'm drinking my coffee and it's just one of those days where I just cannot start work like I can't get into the groove I'm just so tired and I'm, I woke up hungry so I'm having a string cheese even before the time I'm supposed to be eating but that's okay. So I just want to let you know I'm having my one point string cheese. As you saw, I made my coffee and I used three tablespoons of creamer since I'm only going to have one today. Um, and plus, like with the Nespresso, if you froth the creamer, one tablespoon is not enough. So I used three. Um, yeah. So it's really good. Have it in my cow mug. I guess I need to try to get to work now. But... Tonight for dinner, I'm making a skinny taste recipe. I'm making jalapeno popper chicken, which sounds so freaking good. So I'm really excited. I guess I have to go do my work now. And I'll see you at lunch. So for lunch today, I'm just going to do something really quick and easy and have a turkey sandwich. So I have this 647 white bread, which is delicious, and it's two points for two slices. I have some boar's head Cajun turkey, which is so good. And then I just have a slice of Kraft American cheese. I think this is two points. Um, let me see. 
Craft American. Yeah, two points. So two, four, and the turkey is zero. And I'll probably use some mayo, so like five point lunch or so with some grapes on the side. And I will show you when I'm done. have it my five point lunch some grapes cajun turkey on uh, white bread little mustard tablespoon of mayo and cheese i know you some people most people like their bread toasted sometimes i do but i don't know i like a mushy sandwich sometimes <laughs> hey guys so it's almost 3.30 now. I'm just waiting for Bobby to get out of the shower. And we are headed out for his eyeglass appointment. He's getting new glasses. And since my day, I woke up late, so it, everything has been off. I haven't done anything in the right order today. But I'm dressed now. And I'm going, I haven't even had like really a snack or anything since lunch. But um... I originally was going to go to the grocery store and drop off my Etsy orders in like the early afternoon or like, you know, around there. But instead, I'm just going to go with Bobby to his eyeglass appointment, then go to the grocery store, get this because I need the stuff to make for dinner. Then I'll come home, make dinner, and then hopefully I'll work out. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up not doing it. But I hear Bobby getting out of the shower now, so I have to turn the camera off before you see him naked. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where is my phone? Oh, okay. So it is 4.43. Bobby is just in the store finishing up the stuff with his glasses. We picked them out. I helped him. And they're really cool. I like them. I'm jealous. I want new glasses. But he's just finishing that up. And then I guess we have to go right to the store. Um, yeah, it's already 4.43, so, and like I had said before, or at least I think I said, I haven't had a snack or anything, and I'm very hungry. I'm starting to get, like, a headache, and I'm getting hangry. It's not good. So, I'm kind of debating, there's a Starbucks drive through like, right over there. I kind of want to, because Bobby's taking so long now, I'm trying to look for him in the store. Now he's taking a little long, so I'm like, should I just run over there and get a Starbucks drink real quick? But I guess I won't. I'll just wait for him because what if he wants one? And Mac is right in front of me right now. It's making me like want out back. Holy's right next to his too. Part of me just like wants to just get something and then make the chicken tomorrow. But just because it's already so late. So now by the time I eat, it's going to be late because I still need to go grocery shopping. And then on top of that, I don't have like my complete list for grocery shopping. I don't, I only have like what I know I need for tonight's recipe and like a few like staples for the house, but I don't have like the rest of the week meal plan. I'm very unprepared. Waking up late today really, really screwed me up to be honest. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Now I'm undecided. I'm going to see what Bobby says and what he thinks. So I will do that and maybe we'll get Starbucks or maybe we'll get Chipotle. I think I have enough points to get Chipotle, like a bowl or something. Outback, I definitely don't have points for Outback, but I don't know. We'll see. Also, there's a different Target right over here that I've never been to before. We're in like a new shopping area, which is like not even 15 minutes away, but it looks nicer. They have a lot of like nicer looking stores stuff I haven't been into yet we haven't explored this area over here at all it's like it didn't even exist to us that's what's so weird when you move out of state and you really don't like know where everything is it's so weird but um anyway there's a target over here and I kind of want to go to it so I could check out their dollar spot we were just at target the other day but you know since the dollar spot starting to get Christmas stuff in. I want to see if maybe they have different stuff there. See, also I want to see if that that Target is better than the Target I've been going to. There's like mad Targets around. There's literally this is the third Target that's like close 
to where we live. There's one, the one that I always go to, which is like 12 minutes away. And then there's this one, which is like almost 15. And then there's one that's like not even 10 minutes away, but that's the worst one. Not worse, but it's just not as good as the other ones. It's smaller. It doesn't have as much stuff. It doesn't have Bob's cookie milky drinks. So that's my story. I guess I'll stop rambling now, but I'm just sitting here alone, so. Show them your bandit face. <laughs> Okay. All right. Cheers. Salud. And to use. I'm gonna do this. It's good. You like it? Yeah, it's really good. Can I taste it? Yeah, try it. Bobby got a pumpkin cream cold brew. Dude, I'm the most basicest B word. I ain't gonna say it because of sensibilities. It does smell good. I'm trying to keep this family friendly really good it's probably every point don't be beeping me dog that's really good don't beat my ish i think it's that i've never had a um cream what was it the cold the foam cold cold i'll take y'all foam cold <laughs> cold, cold brew foam. something delicious what the heck is it called so i'm on the platinum plan i got 500 points a day holla at your boy you i got drink these a skinny latte. It's only three points for this baby. Sugar-free vanilla skinny latte. Yeah, this one will keep you thick if you're on these. This is like pure sugar. It's delicious though. Yeah. Cold brew. Cold foam. Why can't I remember what it's called? I'm going to have to be wearing ponchos for the rest of my life mm. if I drink these. What are they? Like, I wonder Grande how... pumpkin cream, cream cold, brew. cold brew. Yeah, pretty good. Wow, it's so good. Let me just have one more taste. Yeah, it's a weird lid, too. I was like, what the f I, frig? How the frig do you use this? I'm going to have to watch my language. This is unusual. It's like yeah. having a child around. A little Cammy. The camera's name is Cammy. Yeah. Bobby said that we can't go out to eat, so I have to cook dinner. I mean, we can't just fold immediately on every plan and go out to eat. We should really, like, try and cook food. Especially because you're a good cook. I'm making... I'm making chicken jalapeno popper jalapeno popper chicken mm, sounds good mm -hmm. yes and you'll get to enjoy seeing that i was like what the crap is this it's the tripod remote they're handing me a tv remote i was like are you that attached <laughs> to the television i think that my headache will go away since even though i don't have a snack i have coffee now there are so many drinks already I in just here. said this morning that I was only going to have one coffee today and then I would have green tea because it's healthy for me. It is. Well, and you can have more coffees and green tea. Mm -mm. No, I wasn't going to because I used one point on my, on my coffee creamer this morning. Mm. Because the foamer, the foamer, the frother. The frother what? There's not even anything out there. The frother, you can't use one tablespoon. It's not enough. Oh, yeah. You have to use more. Yeah. So when I use Nespresso, I have to use more creamer. The people in Starbucks are super nice to us. I think they were being audited by headquarters. She was like, how are you doing today? What's Tino, your name? Tino was like, what? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? <laughs> what is your name? She's like, can I have my coffee, please? Yeah, she asked what her name was, what my name was. She didn't ask you. She asked I used to me. always put Carlos. My name's not Carlos. It's just fun. No, it's you started fun. putting that because the person at the salad place put your name as something. When you worked in the city, you would pick up salads from, what was it, Chopped or? I don't even remember. You remember all my memories. It was a salad place that you used to Chopped, get. yeah. Yeah, remember and you got a salad and it said like Carlos or some sort of Spanish name. And you said that the person put it because they were trying to be funny, but I said they probably just put it by accident. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. I, don't, I, don't, I, I believe you that it happened, but Carlos is what I put on Starbucks names way back in the day yeah. for fun. My great uncle's name is Carlos and also the baby from the hangover's name is Carlos. So I like that name. That baby's name is Carlos. He named oh, it. Oh, because he yeah. named it. Yeah. All right. Can we go to the supermarket already? They don't need to see us sit here. There's yep. a Whole Foods right there. 
I do like Whole Foods. Do you want to go there? Can we afford to go to Whole Foods? <laughs> Great. Sponsorship. Cash your dog. Bob, what's your favorite aisle to be in? Sauce out. <laughs> Oh, sorry, check this out. Secret Smoke sauce. It's, which one is that? Oh. It's, I've had one of them before, they're Cinnabon really good. Secret Ranch. Secret they're bad in points though. But it's Smokehouse though. I'm looking for a gochujang. Which I had last time. I think I got you. <laughs> sauce boss. <laughs> it is so late now, it's eight o'clock and I haven't even started making dinner. I never had a snack, but I did have coffee and it did make me feel better. It made my headache go away. So I'm thinking I didn't have a headache from not eating but i think i must have had a headache because i only had one coffee and usually i at least have two we went to the grocery store we got home and i wanted to film a haul real quick but it was like this whole thing the camera kept overheating then it kept dying and it was just like so much chaos took so much longer than i thought it was going to take um but i'm done now i'm going to start cooking dinner um i really hope this recipe doesn't take too long but you never know Especially when it's something you never made yet. Part of me is like, should I just make something I know how to make? But um, the kitchen is a mess. I still haven't done the dishes for today. So I have to do that. It's like embarrassing. It's terrible. So I need to clean the kitchen before I could cook in the kitchen. I don't know if you're the same. But I cannot. I hate cooking in a dirty kitchen. Um, and plus it makes it that much harder when you have to clean up after dinner. So I am going to clean all this up. Um... Oh, like I just said, I just filmed the haul, so that video is going to come right after this one, so look out for that. Definitely subscribe if you want to see it. I went shopping at Weiss, and we got a bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, all right, I'm going to get to cooking, and I will take you along with me. As I said, skinny taste. I have not done this recipe before. Cheesy jalapeno popper stuffed chicken. Ugh, it looks so good. Let me show you a picture real quick. That's what it looks like. It looks freaking delicious. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad in here. I know you see a light right there, but I'm having issues with the camera overheating and I don't know if it's because of the light or what, whatever. Oh, and I looked and this is five points per serving. And it says your serving is two, two cutlets, so that's exciting. I'm really excited. Five points, that's really good. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check and put in the recipe. You know what? I didn't even tell you this because this was in the haul I just filmed. Now I'm getting confused on what I told what. But Skinny Taste puts um, all of the Weight Watchers points on her website. And um, I just looked in this one. I don't know how updated it is. So um, this one says five points for two pieces. So. Also, I just gotta make sure I'm using all the same stuff, all the same whatever. So I'll probably just put it in just to double check. I'll build the recipe in the app and see. But I assume it wouldn't be that different. So let's just say about five per serving. All right, so preheat air fryer to 400. And the first thing you're gonna do is put the bacon in it. Um, I've never cooked bacon in an air fryer. So, okay, let's do it. Does she use center pet bacon? Let's see. I didn't even see it. Oh, she does. Damn, she's good. All right, two slices of center cut bacon. That's all you need. I guess it's just chopping it. All right, let's just freaking do it. Let's get the air fryer out and do it. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do and then give you a little montage of it to make it easier. So I'm going to cook the bacon in the air fryer. Then I'm just going to mix the cream cheese um, Mexican cheese, reduced fat, jalapeno, scallion, and the bacon. Um, and then I guess lay the chicken out, it says. Then you're going to put three tablespoons of the mixture in each one, roll it up, and then you put it, um, you dredge it with um, breadcrumbs, and then you put that in there first. So I'll show you everything, but, and I'll also leave this recipe linked down below if you want to try it out. Hopefully you can hear me over the air fryer but I'm just pre preheating the air fryer to 400. I'm getting ready to put the center cut bacon in there. Oh, that looks crazy, but center cut. Center cut bacon is only two points for two slices and three points for three slices. Tastes way better than the fake, like, microwavable bacon. 
and definitely way better than turkey bacon. If Bobby was up here, he would go on a rant about turkey bacon. He hates, he hates the idea of turkey bacon, but I'm gonna spray the air fryer with some olive oil spray. finished eating and it was delicious it was so good I cannot recommend more I'll explain a little more about the point value though in a little bit and get into it my camera died before so I didn't finish off doing absolutely everything but I'll explain it and um, I'll show you real quick hold on so good look at that yum 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 I could eat these other two right now but I really shouldn't. All right, I'll see you at dessert. Are you just a baby puppy? What about you? Hmm? Why are you so cute? <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so it's literally like 10.20 at night right now, and I just finished cleaning the kitchen. I did all the dishes. I didn't do any dishes or clean before I cooked like I said I wanted to because it was already so late that I was just like, let me just get dinner done. So it's 10, 15, everything's clean. I just have to do a couple more things. And I don't even know if I have three points left because that recipe worked out to be 10 points, which is a lot for two pieces of chicken. Alfred, stop. The recipe said in, in the book, 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 in the cookbook, it says, um, four servings and that they're you should use eight pieces so I only had six pieces and it said to use three tablespoons of the cream cheese you know the mixture on each slice but so I was like okay I'll do that and then I'll save the leftover and then when I you know maybe I'll use it when I open the other pack of chicken or something like that but there, I even used a tablespoon to do this, so it's kind of weird. There was only enough mixture for six pieces. It, it was so weird. I, I don't know why. And then the same thing with the um, breading. It said to use half a cup, and for, like, the lime juice and olive oil, that's what you put the chicken, you know, you dredge that onto the chicken and then put it on the breadcrumbs. And there was only enough for six pieces. So that's so weird to me that it worked out perfectly. I measured everything, so I don't know how there wasn't enough. But with that being said, I had to, I put it into the recipe builder um, to figure it out how much it would be for three servings of the recipe. So with two pieces of chicken each, it works out to be 10 points, which is a lot. And it was really good, but I would say I would definitely next time, because I, obviously I, I didn't figure this out as I was making it, but next time I would definitely like work it out to be better because online it says it should be five points for blue. So that's like way off. I would just change a few things up just to get it lower in points and still have it be delicious. 
because uh, it really was really, really good. I think I just need to get bigger pieces of chicken anyway because the only thing I will say is I bought like already thin cut sliced chicken and they were like too small because you cook them in the air fryer and when I put them in the air fryer, I had a feeling this was gonna happen because it says to use toothpicks to you know keep it rolled up so the cheese doesn't ooze out, but the cheese did ooze out. Not too much, like not all of it, but on each, almost each one because I couldn't close it off at all because the slices were too small and there was almost like too much in it or whatever. So um, next time I'll either use bigger pieces of chicken and less mixture or make sure I close it off better because in the air fryer it just, whatever. Anyway, the chicken was cooked perfectly. The mixture was delicious. I could easily, easily, like, eat the two that are left over that I showed you, but I won't. So, luckily I had a lot of points left because I had 13 points left for dinner so I just used 10 on two sides of chicken it didn't even have any sides or anything so that was kind of a lot but that was a fail on my part I should have been more prepared um, and figured it out as I was going but it was just so late that I just wanted to like get it done and I would figure it out after plus I didn't think it was gonna be that much more which is odd because that's a lot more what made it more was that tablespoon of olive oil. I shouldn't have even used it. I should have just used egg. Like I would change a lot of things. I'm going to recreate this again as like a Weight Watchers meal um, and do it even more like low fat or whatever because it was really good and the mixture of it wasn't bad. wasn't bad in points. So definitely going to do it again. I definitely suggest that you give it a try as well. It was really tasty. I have three points left. I think I might have popcorn or you know what? Let me just make a decision so that I'm done with this, right? I'll just make a decision now and end this off here. I'm going to have some popcorn because a mini bag of popcorn, the skinny girl popcorn mini bags are three points each and um, I don't know, I kind of just want to like chill and like watch something. I started watching that show on Netflix, um, The Queen something, I forget what it's called, I'll put it on the screen, but it's really good. So I want to watch an episode of that and maybe I'll eat some popcorn with it. Probably like in a day or two, I'll have my grocery haul up and yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe and definitely like this video if you want to see more and i will see you guys next time bye